It's Google again with another video and uh, it's been a while, isn't it? So, um, long story short, I'm back in town now after my travels and everything. I'm done with my career. I'm on a break now. So I'm planning to continue with my videos. So, well, of course, when I'm back uh, to my work and everything, the first thing I do is basically just get started with buying stuff. So the first and foremost thing which I bought is, well, a little bit of background. Yes, I know you don't like it when I talk about the background, but I'll be quick about it. I've been using this mouse. This is a G502, not the Hero Sensor version. This is the OG one, not the OG one. This is the Proto Spectrum, which is the second version which came out. 502 is a legendary mouse. Let's just get started with that. Like it is legendary. It is really an amazing mouse. The longest mouse which I've ever used in a single stretch. And it works really well. It still works really well. I am still going to use this. But before this one, apparently, I was using the G602, which was some cinema mouse. I mean, it has a bunch of buttons, and I really like that one. The reason I got this one was because I had a replacement offer because they did not, they stopped making G G602s. I sent it in for a repair. They said that they have to replace it. They did not have the G602, so in turn, they just gave me the G502, and I have been happy. The only thing I'm not happy about is the cord. I've been a huge fan of wireless mouses. Uh, this one is not a wireless mouse. Back in the day, like, okay, before this, I used to game a lot. Now it is not the most priority for me. But for my daily usage, it's mostly editing videos, um, just going through the internet and all these are my priority. So I thought it was time to just maybe, I don't know if you can see it's, it's even an upgrade. It's not really an upgrade. It's more like a sidestep from this mouse. I am going to a G604, which is basically an evolution of the G602. The reason I had a problem with G602 was that the, the button clicks and everything was getting a little wonky. It was starting to show its age and the middle click did not work properly and all that. I guess it's a common problem with the G602. Alrighty then. So let's get started with the video and unboxing and stuff. I mean, the main one of the main reasons which I really like this about, about this mouse is that it has Bluetooth. I usually use this on my laptop all the time whenever I'm not gaming or anything and when I need to game I can just press the button and go to light speed which is also which is awesome but I'm probably going to use this mostly for Bluetooth and I have 15 buttons even with this one with the G shift I was using all of them with uh, double usage you know like I was, I was having two um, usage for this one and it worked really well so without much more uh, blah blah let me just start unboxing it here is the mouse just want to show you how it is and what you get it doesn't have weight management or anything like that but it does have a battery so that is pretty much what you get Ta-da! Yeah, it comes with the battery which is nice it has a g sticker because you need to know that you are part of the g crowd not much instructions just basic you have this you have this you open this you put uh, take out the plug you put battery in you do this you do that and that is finished it's a mouse god damn it you click you point and click with it what are, what do i do what do i do okay i open this no i open this first i guess i do open this first god damn it open up fbi open up i'm sorry i'm being a bit extra pretty hey it's been a while since i've been home okay so i'm getting i'm i'm, I'm getting the silly vibes already i've got an included double a battery which is really nice it's really good that it, they at least include one battery i'm probably going to go for a rechargeable one and okay in bluetooth mode i don't expect it to be using like so much battery that i have to replace it every week or so that was a big problem with me on my g602 because it did not have bluetooth it was always not light speed but still the dongle connection with 2.5 gigahertz i used to replace the batteries on at least a month like once a month i would replace the battery i have to okay it's, it's still better I mean, for the performance and everything which I used to get out of it, it's really cool. But, you know, it, it is not the ideal solution for me. And, ooh, I'm getting a major heebie-jeebies. Hmm. I used to love how it felt. Can you hear that? Hmm. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be. No, silent. Huh. Maybe I have to put something inside or something. We'll see. So, let's put the battery in. And I'm not gonna take out the dongle yet. It is held together by magnets and a small latch, which is really cool. I mean, it's, it's really nice that Logitech uses those. Huh, is it supposed to be like that? Interesting. 
Anyways, tracking seems fine. Of, of course, I don't have this in there. It's heavy. I like heavy mice. I mean, if you if you see my G60, G502, I use all the weights inside. I, I like a heavy mouse. I don't play FPS. I don't do flick shots or stuff like that. So I really don't care too much about that. I, I like the, the, the G6, the 602 did not have this feature, but this is something which I really like. Uh, I use this on my mouse all the time, which is really nice. Okay, so time to turn it on so that was uh, pretty easy to just you know press and hold the button so i put it on that i pressed and hold the connectivity button which is the one which you shift between the light speed and the other one and uh, for five seconds it will glow talk blue and then you have all of this so so i'm going to do the setup i already have g g suit which i'm using already for my 504 uh, 502 so yeah transfer seamlessly between devices okay ultra fast one millisecond response okay I do want to be able to uh, use Bluetooth on two devices at first once because there is some plans between I want but that's okay anyways okay the DPI setting how much DPI do I want I'm using a 34 inch monitor but I will soon be upgrading this to a widescreen 34 which is 21 by 9 so I might actually have to have more DPI so if I go 30 1600 uh, yeah this is pretty cool now the assignments i have so much assignments i have so much to do and i, I really like the g shift button though like this is the dpi up and this is the dpi down and uh, yeah i will go between them but yeah i'm going to map these buttons to the volume because i use media a lot the main thing is i really do want to see how it functions with the battery life i really want to know how much the battery life would be and the input lag if anything but you know for most of my usage which is not gaming i don't i will rarely use light speed i will probably use bluetooth and i am saved by one port you have no idea how many ports i use like seriously though like all of these ports are used up all of these ports are used up yeah there are two usb hubs with all my hard drives there all of these ports are used up all of these ports are used up so i have no ports available freeing one port for my mouse and eventually the keyboard would be so much more so much more for me so i'm looking forward to that we will see so guys that is pretty much it if you have any questions about the g602 if you want me to check out something for you if you are interested in one of these things it's actually pretty cheap right now anyways hope you had a good time watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye